So let's say I'm playing a song and I'm go to the F major and then I'm going to the five or G major to the C. Now this is super basic. Now watch this, we're gonna use diminished seventh chords to take us or pass into those chords. Watch this. So we have a C major to the F major. Watch this. To the five major, to the one. I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna break this down step by step because ultimately my goal is to simplify your musical journey. So last week we were, we did this little move in the key of C sharp. We did this little. to take my time and talk about how we can use these as passing chords. Okay, if I were to ask you to play a C major chord, most of you would, would understand that this is a C, E, G. But do you understand why? First level, you need to understand how this chord is created. It's created by using a scale. Well, most of you all are familiar with the C major scale. It sounds like this. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or one. Now, the C major chord is a one plus three plus five. So that's our basic C major chord because it's combining the first, the third, and the fifth scale intervals. Now, what if I were to ask you to play a C diminished chord? Well, you would need to know the C diminished scale. And I have a cool, simple way to play the C diminished scale or any diminished scale. Now, I hate to interrupt the flow. I know we're learning, we're in our rhythm, but I wanna let you all know if this is your first time here, that we're here every Monday with brand new piano tutorials. And feel free to give me a like, Feel free to comment below. Maybe there's something that you'd like for me to dig deeper into, or you just wanna leave me an encouraging word. I love the positive feedback and the encouragement from you guys. And who knows, maybe we'll do even more masterclass video series like what we're doing in this video lesson today. So I love you guys so much. Feel free also, if you feel like I'm moving too fast, to join our free club, because you get all the information from today's lesson, the PDF, the MIDI files, but not just this lesson, but last week's lessons, last week, last year, the year before that, all of this included in our free club. So without further ado, let's get back into this piano lesson. All you have to do is skip, hit, hit. All right, now I know that sounds like my hit, skip, skip from last week, but trust me, this is skip, hit, hit. Watch this. So if you wanna do a C diminished scale, you wanna play a C, and then skip, hit, hit, skip, hit, hit, skip, hit, hit, skip, hit, hit. Let's do it one more time. We're on a C. We're gonna play a C to minute scale. You skip, hit, hit, skip, hit, hit, skip, hit, hit, skip, hit, skip, hit. All right, so. Now, some of you all have asked, well, how do they create a C diminished chord? Well, it's the same way. You hit the first, skip the second, third, fourth, and fifth. So it's one plus three plus five. And that's how you get this C diminished chord. Now here's C major, because this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So one plus three plus five. But C diminished, you have to know the C diminished scale. Remember? Skip, hit, hit, skip, hit, hit, skip, hit, hit, skip, hit, hit. <laughs> so, so one plus three plus five. And so that's how you get a C diminished chord. Now, if we look at this C major chord, because we have one plus three plus five, you'll hear someone say, what is a C major seven chord, Casey? I hear people say that all the time. Well, a major seventh chord is one plus three plus five plus seven. 
Cause here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, three, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to the one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, three, five, seven. And that's how you get that C diminished seventh chord. <laughs> now let's talk about real life application. How you want to use this diminished chord is up to you, but I'm going to tell you how I use it. I like to use the diminished seventh chord to take me to my destination chord. Now I'm going to give you a sneak peek into what you're going to learn in this section of this video. So we have a C major to the F major. Watch this. To the five major to the one. <laughs> so that's how I use the bend of seven chords. I break them up and I do a lot of drop two type of movements, but ultimately I want to give you guys the tools to honestly transform your playing. And that's why I'm going to dive into how to use the diminished seventh chord as passing chords to take you to your destination chord. Now, a lot of times you hear people, they'll do a song, oh say, watch this, can you see? See, I can use that diminished seventh chord in so many different ways, not just to take you to basic C major, F major, but you can also use them to go to minor chords as well. So that's what this level is going to be all about. So let's take our time and let's talk about how the diminished chord can be used as a passing chord. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's go to the C chord, <laughs> something super basic. Anytime you want to go to a chord, if you go down a half step, that can be used as a diminished seventh chord. So from C, what is a half step below here? Or what is the next key before you get to C? B. So what can I do to get to a C major chord? Go to B and play that diminished seventh chord. To the C. Now I hope and I pray that you guys are able to play the C diminished seventh chord or just the diminished seventh chord in all 12 keys. So for example, if you were to play the C major chord, that's C major. If I were to ask you to play F major, play B flat major, play E flat major. And my goal is that you can play in all 12 keys uh, because they all connect together. C sharp. And again, I go through all of these chords in our included PDF. I'm going to include a PDF that way you guys can follow along just in case you feel like I'm moving too fast or you need to actually have a visual to follow along with. OK, so feel free to join that free club. The free club is free and you just have to make a donation so that you can get access to all of your lifetime membership uh, accounts and your digital files. So these videos will always be free. So anyway, let's jump back into this real quick. Moral of the story is I hope that you can play your major chords and the diminished seventh chord in all 12 keys. And here's a C diminished seventh, F diminished seventh. Here is a B flat diminished seventh. Here is a E flat diminished seventh. Here is my A flat diminished seventh. Here's my C sharp diminished seventh. Here is my F sharp diminished seventh. Here is my B diminished seventh. You see how quick I'm moving through this? Here's my E diminished seventh. This chord sounds so scary and so spooky and so gloom, gloomy, but we're gonna brighten it up, I promise. And then here's my A diminished seventh. Here is the D diminished seventh. Here is the G diminished seventh. And last but not least, we can head back to our C diminished seventh. So let's talk about this one more time. So we're playing a song. We're playing a C chord. We want to go to the C chord. What do we do? We go back a half step and we play that diminished seventh chord to the destination chord. So watch this. So let's say we want to go to F. Now 
Now we remember we want to go back a half step and play that diminished seven. So if we're trying to go to an F chord, you go back a half step and play that diminished seventh chord. Now let's use this in a real life scenario. So for example, amazing grace, how sweet. Watch this. The sound has a classical type feel. Now, what am I doing here? I'm not just playing just the basic B diminished seventh. You can move this chord around. I have a B in the left hand. I can do this. I can move this up. This is called an inversion. Inversion is where you move the bottom notes up to the top. So for example, C major will move the bottom note up to the top. So C major, move it up to the top. So we have a C, and this is a first inversion because I moved the, the bottom note up one time. And then I'm gonna do it one more time, move this bottom note up. So let's C second inversion, all right? So the same thing for our diminished chord. We have a C diminished seventh chord. We can invert this, move this up to the top. So move the C to the top, that's C. And really honestly, these aren't even inversions. The cool thing about this is it changes complete tonality. <laughs> this is an E flat diminished seventh chord. The cool thing about diminished chords, seventh chords, there are only three of them that you need to learn. And I'll explain that here in a moment. Move this up to the top and you have an F sharp diminished seventh chord. So you have E flat diminished seventh, F sharp diminished seventh, A diminished seventh. <laughs> I'm just moving the bottom note up. And then we're back to the C diminished seventh. So believe me or not, this is one, two, three, four. I play four different chords by doing nothing but moving the bottom note up to the top. There are only 12 different, 12, 12 different diminished seventh chords. So if we move this down a half step. <laughs> so this is a B diminished seventh. Move the bottom note up and it turns into a, that's right, a D diminished seventh. Move the bottom note up and it turns into a F diminished seventh. And then move this bottom note up it turns into an A flat diminished seventh chord. And then do it one more time and you're back to the B diminished seventh chord. We just played eight different diminished seventh chords by doing nothing but inverting the bottom note or moving the bottom note up to the top. So eight different inversions or we just call them chord structures. All right, and so that's the C. We did the C, E flat, F sharp, and then A. And we did a B, D, and these are all diminished sevenths, by the way. A B diminished seventh, I just didn't say diminished seventh. D, F, and A flat. Now if that's eight and they're a total of 12, that means there are four more that are missing. So let's talk about the next four. If we go to a C major, C diminished seventh, let's move this up a half step. I promise we're going somewhere with this. This is a C sharp diminished seventh chord. Now remove the bottom note up to the top. It just turns, it turns into an E diminished seventh, move it up to the top, turns into a G diminished seventh, and then move it up again, and it turns into a B flat diminished seventh chord. So that's all 12 of the diminished seventh chords that we're gonna be using in this video to create these passing chords. All right, so here we are. Now we have our C, amazing grace. We wanna to go to how sweet, right? So amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Watch this. That saved a wretch lie. Watch this, lie. <laughs> Man, I'm telling y'all, we're gonna have so much fun in this passing chords video. And so let's talk about what I just did there. Those were called inversions. And what I did was, if you notice, if I wanna go to Amazing Grace, now notice I can do a C major chord like this. Now, I want you to be able to move this middle note down here. And this is called open voicing. So this is a C major chord. Move this middle note down here. A 
Bombay. Let's invert that up. Sing Grace. I did a whole video called Rootless Voicings. I'm telling you, it is amazing. It's super basic, but it is definitely essential for videos like this. So uh, instead of playing, we can open it up and we can move this middle note down here. That's a C major chord. We could do root position, move this down here. And then watch this. Here's another inversion. We can move this middle note down here. So let me take my time and do that one more time. Amazing grace. <laughs> Go to F, do the same. How sweet. So as you can see, I'm, I'm literally playing the same F major chord. I'm moving the middle note down here. And again, I did a whole video on this. I don't want to reteach something that you'll have access to. It's free, and I'll put the links in the description link. So that covers the major chords, but let's talk about some crazy diminished seventh chords that you were using to take you. So, amazing grace, how, we want to go to this F chord, how sweet. Now, how can we do that? Go down a half step, and then play that diminished seventh chord. Now, we're going to break this chord up. I want you guys to use this term called a drop two. So if I have this E diminished seventh chord, I'm going to drop the second highest note. That's called a drop two chord. Drop the second highest note. This is the highest note. This is the second highest note. Drop this note down here. Mm. Let's do another example because we're going to move through these rather quickly, but I want to make sure you understand the concept. Uh, let's go to C and do a C diminished seventh chord. Now, I want you to tell me how do you drop the two <laughs> for this C diminished seventh chord? Here's this highest note. Remember, drop two is drop the second highest note. So drop this F sharp down here. And there you go. You have a C diminished seventh and I drop the two. And this actually turns into a F sharp diminished seventh. It's just open. So these are like open voicings. You hear a lot of these fancy terms like open voicings and things of that nature and chord extensions, kind of like what we did with the C major and we added a seventh. So with that being said and done, let's get down and dirty. We're going to keep this basic and then we're going to go to our advance. So amazing grace. Watch this. Instead of doing my E diminished seventh, I can move it down here. I can move it down here. So these are inverting backwards. So I'm going to move this top note down here. Move this top note down again. So amazing grace. How sweet. You see what I did there? Here's my F major. Move it down. This is another version of F. So here's F first inversion right here. Second inversion. So amazing grace. Go to F second inversion. How sweet. Now watch this. Amazing grace. How sweet. You see what I did there? Let's do it again. Amazing grace. How sweet. Now let's get crazy with it. Ready? Amazing grace. How sweet. Ooh. So we're using the diminished seventh chord as a passing chord. Now let's take our time. Amazing grace. Let's invert this. So this is going to go up to G. And this whole chord is going to move up as well, right here. So I want you to practice doing this in all 12 keys. Let's move it up again. This is going to go up here because this is the diminished chord right here. So we're going to the next one up and then move this one up. So, uh, amen. take our time. Zing. Up. Up. Then we know we want to go to an F chord. How can we get there quickly? We are right here next to the F. And then drop that. <laughs> See that? That A drops down here. So, uh, amen. 
amazing grace how sweet and we can invert this down the sound now we need to go that saved this is an A minor chord here's A minor first inversion second inversion that saved so amazing grace how sweet Break it down, the sound. Watch this. That saved. What was that? Those are diminished seventh chords. So let's talk about what I did there. We know that if we want to go to an A minor, any chord you want to go to, you go, what did I say? Go down a half step and play that diminished seventh chord. So we know if we want to go to a that saved, go down a half step and play that diminished seventh. This is an A flat diminished seven. That same. So, rewind back. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. Now watch this. I want you to start here. Uh, D, and then we're gonna do an A flat diminished seven. That. Say someone's gonna say, KC, you're moving too fast. Well, all I did was a D diminished seventh chord broken up with my left hand. Up, 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 and then to the A minor. So amazing grace. How sweet the sound. Watch this. Safe. Now you're saying, what did you do with your right hand, KC? That you didn't do what you taught us earlier. I promise I did. Here's the A flat diminished seventh. Move it up. Move it up. Move it up. <laughs> and then to your A minor. And this is A minor first, second inversion. So amazing grace. How sweet the sound. <laughs> a rest. Watch this. Like me. Now, I'm moving a lot there. What was I doing? So amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch. I wanted to go this. A wretch, a regular D major chord, right? Now watch this. If you look at this D major, if we go down a half step, we have a C sharp diminished seventh chord because that takes you to your destination chord. So watch this. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Can I tell y'all a little secret? I like to slur into it. So instead of boom, boom, look at my left hand, boom, boom, I'm gonna slur into this. So, see ya, go down two, and then that's safe. So let's do it one more time. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. That's safe. We're trying to get to that D major. Watch this. Uh, uh, and next, remember, you could drop this D major down here. Rich. Now, what did I do there to get there? That's a C sharp, diminished seventh chord, and I can use an A right with that. So, move it up, move it up. Shoot, I mean, however I can connect to get to that D, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> so, amazing grace, how sweet the sound. It saved a rest. Like now, like me, I'm trying to get to the G. What can I do? I can plug in that diminished seventh chord, go down a half step. That like me. That sounds super basic. Half step below is F sharp diminished seven. Like me. So amazing grace. How sweet the sound. Watch this. 
Uh, I think we did this. That save a rest like. Now I'm on that flat. I'm on the F sharp there. Watch this. Look at this. That's an F sharp diminished seventh chord. I can skip one and then use this here. So la, move it up. Like me. <laughs> oh man, I'm having so much fun. Like that's, remember, go down on a half step. And then we're gonna play this C diminished seventh over F sharp. And I don't really have a theory for how and when to plug these in, but if I had to guess, go down a half step. And if this is your diminished seventh chord, skip one and then start your diminished chord there. So if you play F sharp, here is my A diminished seventh. Like, and then start your roll up. Like me. <laughs> I'm, I'm right there at that G. So that's why I say it's important for you to learn your inversions and learn your rootless chord movements that I did in that description below and the rootless uh, chord voicings. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Now that's basic. We ain't even got to the advanced stuff yet. <laughs> so let's talk about some advanced passing chords. So for example, we, in the previous basic way, we said go down a half step and play the diminished chord. And what I like to do is, again, you can play, if this is my diminished chord before the C, I can skip this note and start my diminished seventh chord here. We talked about this when you want to roll them up, okay? So I'm just recapping to my C. <laughs> so go down a half step, diminished seventh to the C. And we also talked about being able to roll this up. And that's just basically rolling with your left hand. Now let's talk about some advanced uh, passing chords that we can use to get us to our destination chord. So for example, we talked about a may or twinkle, twinkle, little star. So, so what we can do is we can do this. Five, six, seven, one. Five, six, seven to your destination. Five is major. Six is going to be a diminished seven. Seven is a diminished seven to your destination chord. You got it? So five, six, seven, one, or five, six, seven, destination. Five is major, six diminished seven, seven diminished seven to your destination chord. Now I cover this in the Play Like You series in much, much more depth than what we're gonna do in this video. But it's basically, wherever you're trying to get to, go to the fifth scale degree and count your way up. So if this is one, you wanna play a five, six, seven to your destination. So. Five, six, seven, one. Now that sounds super corny, right? So amazing, amazing grace or twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> nah, you don't want to do that. Not as an advanced musician. So what you want to do is something like this. Five, and again, of course, these are different inversions. This is a G. Five, six, seven, one. So watch this. Amazing grace. Watch this. How sweet. <laughs> what did I do? I'm trying to get to the F chord. What did I say do? Do five, six, seven, one. So if this is one, right? F major is my one. How do I get to the five, six, seven, one? So one, two, three, four, here we go. Five, six, seven, one. So you're gonna be changing keys throughout your musical journey now as an advanced musician. You don't wanna just limit yourself to one key. You wanna think throughout the song that you're changing keys. So, amazing grace, how sweet. Now how do we get to the F again? Five, six, seven, one. We did a C major. And then six is gonna be your diminished seventh. See? And you know, this chord continues up. Six, seven. Cause this is an E diminished seventh. And then to the one. <laughs> so. Uh, amazing. 
grace, how sweet the sound. Watch this. We want to go to an A minor. Now, how do we do this? We go five, six, seven, one to the A. <laughs> now, we're not doing an A major. We're going to do an A minor. So, five, six, seven, one. So, in the key of A, here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A, or A, or eight, or one. So, five, six, seven, one. You want to do an E major, F sharp diminished seventh. A flat diminished seventh to the A minor. Now notice I didn't do the basic, I used this inversion here. So let's do this again together. Amazing grace. We're going to the F. How sweet the sound. We go, you ready? Let's do our diminished seventh movement. And I think we did it like this. E, F sharp diminished seventh, A flat diminished seventh, that saved. We can do this. A rest. We're trying to get to a D. Now, what can we do? Five, six, seven, one in the key of D. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, one. <laughs> so, amazing grace, how sweet the sound. We're trying to get to the A minor. Five, six, seven, one. That's safe. Watch this. We're trying to get to a D. A wretch. What do we do? Five is major, so it's gonna be an A major chord. Six is diminished seventh, which is a B. Seven, diminished seventh, and then to your destination chord. So five, six, seven, to your destination. Five is major, six is gonna be a diminished seventh. Seven is just diminished seventh, to your destination chord. You got it? So five, six, seven, one, or five, six, seven, destination. Five is major, six diminished seventh, Seven diminished seven to your destination chord. All right, so let's put this all together. Start with, we're trying to get to amazing grace, right? So start with your five. Five. Six diminished seven. Amazing grace. Here we go, diminished seven. How sweet. Going to the F, the sound. We're trying to get to the A minor, A. It's one, so we're gonna start on an E, which is the five. That same. Watch this. Uh, like me. Where are we trying to go? To the G chord. Now, can we do the five, six, seven, one on that one? Ooh, I don't know, let's see. Five, six, seven, one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Like me. <laughs> so as you can see, this works every time. Five, six, seven, one is super clutch, right? I mean, it's not really super advanced, but it's getting you there, all right? So amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Here we go. Invert. Say, now we get into some fancy stuff, right? Now hold on, let me let me slow this down because somebody was like, KC moving too fast. All I did was an E major, that same five, six, seven to the one, which is the A minor. So five, six, seven. So amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Watch this. E. Here's that diminished seventh chord. We want to roll it up. So this is called an inversion. Move everything up. And then come back down, because here's your seventh diminished, and move it up an inversion to your A minor. So amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Here we go. Woo! So did that make sense? E, F sharp diminished, invert, then A flat diminished, invert to the A minor. 
So we can do this through the whole song. Amazing grace. We can do this, remember? How sweet. That's basic. Amazing grace. How sweet. Now what did I do? C. And then we're gonna, we're trying to get to F. How sweet. So amazing. Watch this. That's my D. Invert. Now we gotta go to the E because E is our diminished seven. Take it to F. There it is. Invert. How sweet. So let's put this together. Amazing grace. Woo. How sweet the sound. Now we're trying to get to that A minor. We just did it. That, that safe. We just did that. Okay. A rest. I won't worry about putting it here. Like me. We want to get to a G. How do we get to the G? Five, six, seven to the G. You got it? Five, six, seven to the G. Ready? Here we go. Let's do those inversions. Five, six, invert. Seven, invert. Like me. So let's put it all together. Amazing grace. How sweet, there we go, the sound. We're trying to get to the A minor. We did that one already, that saved a rich life. Now let's talk this through. Five, six, seven, one, D major, E diminished seventh, invert it. We wanna go to the F sharp, invert it. Like me. Now, again, this is advanced, right? Y'all asked for it. Y'all said, KC, go D. Now, I want to take this up a notch. In fact, we'll go up a half step, and I'm going to give you guys what you asked for on last week. Now, I hate to interrupt the flow. I know we're learning. We're in our rhythm. But I want to let you all know, if this is your first time here, that we're here every Monday with brand new piano tutorials. And feel free to give me a like. Feel free to comment below. Maybe there's something that you'd like for me to dig deeper into, or you just want to leave me an encouraging word. I love the positive feedback and the encouragement from you guys. And who knows, maybe we'll do even more masterclass video series like what we're doing in this video lesson today. So I love you guys so much. Feel free also, if you feel like I'm moving too fast, to join our free club because you get all the information from today's lesson, the PDF, the MIDI files, but not just this lesson, but last week's lessons, last week, last year, <laughs> the year before that, all of this included in our free club. So without further ado, let's get back into this piano lesson. I love you guys so much and let's keep this going. So last week we were, we did this little move in the key of C sharp. We did this little. take my time and talk about how we can use these as passing chords. Notice I'm holding that G the whole time. These are all inversions. These are all diminished sevenths. Now I'm a C sharp major. Diminished seventh. Diminished seventh. That's all I'm doing there. Now, we also did some chromatic movements. So let me take my time because this is definitely more advanced. So what did I do here? So I know I'm in the key of C sharp. All I'm going to do is I'm going to do a five and I'm going to do a three with my right hand. So this is very key. This formula works in every key. So whatever key you're in, if you're in C sharp, Go to the five, hold the five down, and I want you to do a three. Now you're saying, what is a three, KC? Well, here's one, two, three, and then play the three diminished seventh chord. And there you have it. This is a F diminished seventh chord over A flat, which is the five. That's how you want to start this movement off. 
in every key. Go to the five with the left hand and the right hand play the three diminished seventh. So we're in the key of C sharp and this is the key we're in. Now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do a drop two. So drop this B down here. We already talked about this earlier. Hopefully you guys didn't skip around and skip up to this level. Now, I'm gonna take this out as well. I wanna keep it as open as possible. So this three chord or this three diminished seven, I'm gonna drop the two and I'm gonna take this out. Now if you want, you can keep this in there, but I don't need it. So this is where we start off. And we're just gonna take this up chromatically while holding this five to the one, five. <laughs> now let's talk about it. We're gonna move this up a half step, up another 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 half step. Now I'm on the three now, now with my left hand, because three is F. And then I'm gonna go up another half step. Watch this, I'm changing modes. Because now I'm on an F sharp diminished seventh chord. <laughs> Do y'all see this? Now let's talk it through one more time. What's the formula? Start with the five in the left hand, go to the three diminished seventh, drop the two, Drop the two means, the drop two chord means drop the second highest note, which is a B. And I'm gonna take this up half steps. Stop right there. Stop on this chord right here. So this is like my F sharp diminished seven. So we'll say stop on the four. That's the formula. Five, three diminished seven, drop the two. Move it all the way up until you get to the four in the left hand. Keep, keep going. There it is, cause the four. One, two, three, four. Once you get here, then you can play around with this one right here. I love this one because this, this throws them off. That's a big stretch, but we'll just go here. See that? And I'm going to invert. Invert means to move the bottom note up a little bit here. All right, and there you have it. And then we can close this out by going to a C sharp major chord. <laughs> All right, do you see this? This is this is part of that rootless forcings. I talked about this. I'm right there at it. So we hold this. Now let's talk about this. So we are here. Here we go. Invert and then bring it down. We're right back home. And then play around with this. Boom, boom, boom. This is my C sharp major. And I'm just inverting it down. Now, how you really want to put this in. You remember those little slurs? <laughs> Now, here we go. Now, watch this slurp. And then we're back home to C sharp. And then what we can do is watch this. Follow me, follow me. That's another nice move. This is a C diminished seventh chord. I just broke it down. This is F sharp, drop that too. But I'm gonna hold this. Invert. Invert again. You can do any version you want. Invert again. Watch this. We're back home. <laughs> so. That's that C. We talked about this. And you want to find connecting points to get back to that C sharp. So. Oh, get back in the spirit. These are called chromatic passing chords. And that's all I did. I'm 
can move these slower for you. Probably go backwards. <laughs> I'm at the four. So, again, I wanted to give you guys some passing chords. I wanted to break down everything that I promised I would do. I'm not one of those musicians. That, oh yeah, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you, show you, and I show you, but I don't give you the theory behind it, and I don't also break it down in a slow pace that way you can be able to absorb this. All right. So again, you know, I never like to close any video without letting you know that today is a new day, a new life, and a new opportunity for you to become a better you. Feel free to click on the videos above the description links. I'm going to give you all, towards, all sorts of different advanced movements and different videos that will help to supplement your musical journey. Love you guys, and I'll see you on next Monday.